Hello everyone, ang pag-uusapan natin sa video na to ay ang midpoint formula. For example, given tayo ng dalawang points, ito yung una and then, ito naman yung ating pangalawa. Gagawa tayo ngayon ng line segment connecting our two points. Let us name our points, ito si point 1. Ang coordinates niya ay x sub 1 and then y sub 1. Ito namang pangalawa is p2 na may coordinates na x sub 2 at y sub 2. We define our midpoint as yung point na pinaggigit na anong dalawang points natin. Para masabi natin, etong point na to M ay midpoint nga ni P1 at ni P2, dapat yung distansya sa pagitan ni P1 at ni M ay pareho sa distansya nung M natin at nung P2. And then name na lang natin yung coordinates ng ating midpoint na X and then Y. Kapag yung points natin, P1 at P2 ay nasa Cartesian plane, Makukuha natin yung midpoint natin with the coordinates x and y using this formula. So this is equal to yung x coordinate ng ating midpoint ay makukuha lang natin kapag pinag-add natin yung x coordinates ng ating point 1 tapos i-divide natin sila by 2. That is for the x coordinate and then para sa y, i-add naman natin yung y coordinates ng ating point 1 at point 2 and then i-divide din natin siya kay 2 kasi kinukuha nga natin yung gitnang point. At ito na yung formula natin para sa ating midpoint. I-apply natin siya sa ating unang example. We have to solve for the midpoint of points 1, 2, and 5, 4. Hayaan muna natin na si 1, 2 ang maging point 1 natin at si 5, 4 naman ang ating maging point 2. Yung 1, yung x coordinate ng ating point 1 at yung 2 naman yung y coordinate niya. And then for point 2, ang ating x sub 2 ay 5, ang ating y sub 2 naman ay 4. Plotting yung ating points sa ating Cartesian plane, ang P1 natin ay nasa 1, 2, dito siya. This is our P1. Tapos ang P2 naman natin ay nasa 5, 4, around this area. This is our P2. Gumawa tayo ng line segment between point 1 and point 2. Then para makuha natin yung ating midpoint, let us apply our formula. The midpoint xy is equal to, para sa ating x coordinate, we have our x sub 1 plus x sub 2. This is all over 2. And then for our y coordinate, we have y sub 1 plus y sub 2. This is over 2. Then substitute na lang natin yung ating values. We have our x sub 1 is 1. Tapos ang x sub 2 naman natin ay 5. Kaya meron tayong 1 plus 5 over 2. And then para sa y naman natin, ang y sub 1 ay 2. Ang y sub 2 naman ay 4. Kaya ito ay magiging 2 plus 4 over 2. 2. This is equal to, ang 1 plus 5 ay 6, this is over 2, tapos si 2 plus 4 naman ay 6 din over 2. Then our midpoint is just equal to, 6 divided by 2 ay 3, ganun din 6 divided by 2 is 3. Ito na ang ating midpoint ng 1, 2 at 5, 4. And that is 3, 3. Kapag pinlat natin sa ating Cartesian plane, we have our 3, 3. Kaya ang midpoint natin is around this point. Ito na ang ating M. Ang distansya sa pagitan ng ating point 1 na 1, 2 at midpoint na 3, 3 ay pareho dun sa distansya ng ating point 2 na 5, 4 at midpoint na 3, 3. That's it for our first midpoint. Let us proceed with our second example. We have to solve for the midpoint of points negative 3, negative 4 and 2, negative 1. Ito ulit yung gawin nating point 1 at ito naman yung gawin nating point 2. X sub 1 natin ay si negative 3, Y sub 1 is negative 4, X sub 2 is 2, Y sub 2 is negative 1. Plotting our points, negative 3, negative 4 around this point, P1, at si 2, negative 1 naman ay nandito. Ito ang ating P2. Then gawa ulit tayo ng line segment between point 1 and point 2. Ngayon, gamitin ulit natin yung formula para makuha natin yung midpoint ng dalawang points. This is equal to x sub 1 plus x sub 2 over 2. For y coordinate, we have y sub 1 plus y sub 2 also over 2. Then this is equal to x sub 1 is negative 3, x sub 2 is positive 2. Kaya ito ay magiging negative 3 plus 2 over 2. Kay y naman, y sub 1 is negative 4, y sub 2 is negative 1. Kaya ito ay negative 4 plus yung negative 1 natin na y sub 
This is also over 2 and then close. Perform na lang natin yung operation. This is equal to negative 3 plus 2 that is negative 1 over 2. Tapos yung negative 4 plus negative 1, yun naman ay negative 5 also over 2. Ito na yung lowest term ng ating fraction. So, ito na yung midpoint ng ating dalawang points. We have negative 1 half and negative 5 over 2. So, ang negative 1 half nasa gitna ng 0 and negative 1. Tapos, si negative 5 over 2 nasa gitna naman siya na negative 2 at negative 3. Kaya, ang midpoint natin is somehow at this point. Ito na yung gitna ng ating point 1 at point 2. At ganun lang yung ginagawa para makakuha tayo ng midpoint ng ating dalawang points. Music